Hi, today we are going to see about a subquery. What is a subquery? Actually, subquery is nothing but it, it is a query within another query. That means in a, in a, in a single query, we can write a number of uh, another, another query also. For that, I am having two tables like product and sales. For that, like first one is select id comma name for which i am going to now i am going to write a query in which the, that particular product is not having any sales for that select id comma name from products for which i am not having data like sales where, where id not in select distinct Product ID, the ID from sales. Okay, this is what we have seen. Like, see, I'm going to select the IDs from product IDs from sales, and this in this we have we are having product ID two three four, and then for that which are not in those, then we will get like one and five. That is uh, for those two products books and erasers there is no sales and this is how we have written a subquery means a query within a, a this is a query within another query always the word subquery should be within these two parentheses and the next thing is the same query can be written this subquery can be replaced with them joins for that for i'm using an in the join select id comma name from products inner join not inner join left join joins we have seen already in the previous videos left join sales on products dot id is equal to sales dot Product ID where sales dot product ID is null. So that the same thing, the same output for which there is no sales we can get from this. For this, it is here we are getting like ambiguous uh, column name. So what we have to do, like from both tables, I have like ID for this products dot ID. Okay, see if I select this, the output will be the same. Like this subquery is replaced by a join. Almost to, so almost the subqueries can be replaced with the joins also. And the next thing is that I want to get the total amount, total quantity which it has been the well, total um, quantity of sales of for that particular product. For that select name, comma. Select sum of quantity from sales where product ID is equal to product dot ID. This is named as total from products okay this is uh, what we have written see this is the total total sum of the uh, of quantities which we have got sales and the next thing is next one is the same the same statement can be replaced with a uh, joins also for that we have to see select name comma sum of the quantity quantity from products left joins Sales on products products dot 
Here I am going to use group by class. Group by what with the name we are going to group in. We are going to group. Sorry. We will get the same output. See where we have got the like with both the statements. And the, the difference is between these two deals, uh, like uh, jaw subqueries, is this subquery is not dependent on the outer subquery. So this is not dependent. So I can individually execute this uh, this statement, and and again I can execute this statement also. But whereas in the second this uh, subquery, I cannot. Like I cannot execute this, I'll get an error indicating that it is depending on about the outer statement, outer outer query that is product stable. So if I select the whole thing, it is going to execute. Means this this query is called correlated subquery. That means that the first query is the subquery is always dependent on the second query. Then it is called a correlated subquery. This is this is a this is what a difference between a subquery and a co and a correlated subquery. That is the this second for in in correlated subquery the subquery is always dependent on the, the outer inner query is always dependent on the outer query. Okay, the next thing is now the next uh, one which I'm going to see is like exist by using select name from products where 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 no where exists select ID from sales where id is equal to 6 same this is what they say here this whenever this i statement is exist then only we will get that is if now i execute this there is no i there is no id with 6 so i will never get an output here and if i give here to the exist statements uh, indicates that it this is this statement executes so it is true then it will then it's going to execute all all it going to give all the data this is how we can write a query using an exist statement also okay this is what we have seen for today this is about a subquery and a correlated subquery how we have seen thank thank you thank you for